The death toll in the raising conflict between Israel and Hamas in the Gaza Strip is nearing 3,000 as violence continued for the seventh consecutive day. At least 1,300 Israeli civilians and soldiers have been killed and 73,391 people have been injured since the Hamas launched its brutal attack. Meanwhile, the cumulative death toll from the unabated Israeli airstrikes on the Gaza Strip and West Bank has reached 1,569 while 7,212 others have been injured. While advocating peace and well-being, Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Friday said that a world full of conflict and confrontation is in no one's interest. He also highlighted the cross-border terrorism being faced by India for decades which has led to the killing of thousands of innocent people. The Prime Minister also drew attention to the global aspect where no consensus regarding the definition of terrorism is achieved. Amid the ongoing war in Israel, at least 212 Indian citizens arrived in the national capital in the first flight from Israel under Operation Ajay. The first flight under the Operation Ajay arrived in Delhi around 6 a.m. and they were greeted by Union Minister Rajiv Chandra Sekhar at the airport. A group of women students staging a protest in Hyderabad to express solidarity with Palestinians on Friday were detained by police. Raising slogans denouncing Israel for its bombardment of Gaza, they gathered around carrying a placard reading Long Live Palestine. The police detained the protesters who were raising slogans down down Israel. And 36 hours after the derailment of North East Express train, the East Central Railway on Friday restored the upline from Patna side to Deen Dayal Upadhyay, Mughal Sarai, in Uttar Pradesh. The North East Express train bound for Kamakya in Guwahati derailed at the speed of 128 km per hour near Raghunathpur railway station in Bihar's Baksa district. Four people were killed and many other passengers sustained injuries in the mishap.